KBC Quickie on YouTube. Another great video from my favorite pro brew tuber. I have a couple of, but thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I have a couple of questions. How do you dilute your acid? Do you do a acid only sparge or both acid mash and sparge? If only sparge, any specific reason for doing it that way? So yeah, um, first of all, man, yeah, thanks so much uh, for for your kind words. Some when I talk about diluting acid, when um, <laughs> I'm just laughing at the chat. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I add, uh, I do not dilute my acid when I am uh, acidifying my uh, initial mash. Okay. I just kind of pour that in throughout, maybe like in three different, three or four different editions. And maybe I can pour it in all at once, but I like to spread it out a little bit. Okay. Maybe it'll help it. I, I don't know. I just like it. So that's what I do. Ah. Um, but when I, I, I am diluting acid, uh, only for when uh, I am acidifying my sparge water. So um, I'm already running uh, my first wort to the kettle. I have my sparge water coming down. I will take, um, say for instance, there is, say I'm gonna sparge 250 gallons, um, a, a grain bed with 250 gallons. And so I will take the amount of acid I need to uh, sparge 250 gallons, put it in a spray bottle, and then I will fill that spray bottle up to 25 because there's five gradations, five ounce gradations on that bottle. So I will, with those 250 gallons of sparge water, I'll divide that by five. So that's 50 gallons, math, math. And then I will spray that over the top of the mash 50 gallons at a time. I know I need to get those five ounces. So the only reason I'm diluting that in that bottle is it creates uniform gradations for me to be kind of, so I'm spreading it out appropriately throughout throughout the, the the entirety of the sparge. So, I mean, that that's, that's really the idea there. Um, so um, that's when I'm acidifying, that's how I'm acidifying. Um, and again, I don't like to, I, I've been at places and I brewed at places where people will just say, well, okay, um, I need, uh, I need a hundred mils of acid to, uh, to acidify the sparge water. And they'll just like pour it in at the beginning of the sparge and put the container over the side. Listen, your, your pH of your kettle is going to be correct but that's not what you're actually trying to do when you're acidifying your sparge water. You're trying to drop the pH of all of the sparge water that is going to be rinsing your grains because the higher the pH is of that water, potentially above six, I believe, is a line where you want to be staying below or not going over. Um, you're gonna, you can pull tannin out of that, right? Or stringency, harshness, graininess, uh, or, or what have you. So, um, yeah, that's why I do that. And that's, that's where we're going with it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like, and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here, or over here. Appreciate you watching.